so I was I wanted to make a new game after Fun Gun Run, yes? And so I had a few ideas. I didn't like them. Might as well show you my failed ideas and see if you guys want to steal them or not. Um I don't really know where to go. Uh, let's just play this one. So it's called Flex 10 Protect. And the idea of this game was that um it's trying to I was trying to like turn some event on Scology into a game. So I changed everything. So this is uh Loif Munkler and he's like the school superintendent or something. And he posts posts. And then so his posts will fly by. But there's this guy, the grand the great grand translator of Arabic, who's spamming posts in Arabic and his your goal is to stop this post from getting to the other side where students will see the post and then um, they will report the Schoology thing to the teachers and then they will stop us. And so, uh, let's see, this was like a place where we were able to talk freely, but of course, if you can talk freely, anyone can talk freely, including this Arabic person, let's reload. Um, and so this guy just kept posting stuff in Arabic along with other people, uh, these people here, and eventually the someone I guess someone reported it to the staff and they shut it down. Oh well. And so your goal here in the game is to prevent that from happening by stopping the grand tra translator of Arabic. And he has two friends here. I call them Paffy and Poofy, and they spam diacritics at you, which will lag everyone else in things. Um, I didn't really get that far with this game though. I didn't really like it because like there's a problem where if you're inside a card, you can't shoot because you're shooting at the card. And so there's like part of, you only can be at like the sides here, which is kind of annoying. And I also wanted this game to work on multiple screen sizes, but of course, if you have it kind of gives like the smaller screen sizes an uh, advantage because you don't have to guard as much of the space as much as a gaming computer, for example, or a gaming monitor, I don't know. Um, here, this is the intuitive gun website. So I just recreated the gun website partially. Um, I spent a long time on this. And so, the idea with, th with this game is that, uh, this, I didn't implement this yet, but your goal is to, like, look around the gun website and then look for, like, clues. And then your goal is to log into the admin, uh, an admin account by looking at, like, photos. Like, this isn't one of them, but you would see, like, hints of a password. Like, some teacher writes their password on a post-it note in some image and you have to use that to log in and then with that you can uh, the game progresses until at the end when you're in like I don't know, some admin's account you can shut down self and you, the game is over but uh, th this game idea wasn't developed that well so I stopped making this game I don't remember what plat oh plat isn't anything uh, quantum honkabilia Okay, um, I kind of need to open Quantum Honkabilia's directory. Okay, let's see. So we have, uh, I'm going to keep this tab open. Now, this was just a simple platformer game, not at all gun related. So I made it like a platformer script. I gave them all funky names. Oh, you can play this though. This one, I think I developed this a bit more. So it's like a simple level that you can play. It's a bit hard. Well, play this that much. I guess I can link it in the description. Oh, this one, um, it's like where your goal is to get as many achievements as you can. Um, yeah, and so there's like a bunch of achievement that you can constantly get. Um, so it's based on another game. There we go. Where called Goim, if 
500. I want to make a game like that with this platformer script, but I never got around to it. And then this one, oh, this one's just a, a simple rendering engine, I think. Okay. Let's see. Oh, so I'm right now working on this game called Toastia. And so I'm not going to reveal too much, but so far I have an editor so I can make a map. So I only have a few blocks. Let's see, current tile equals hexstone. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, I think this one's called Steven Stone. That's the ID. Oh no, there's a, there's a bug. Oh, Steven Rock. There we go. Yeah, I won't talk about that game until like I fail at making it. Uh, what? Oh yeah. Okay. The rest of these failed ideas are actually on the website. So at the bottom here, Mars is kind of. Oh, let me open. No, I'm not sure if that will work with the recording software, but it's like an incremental game where. Oh no! I just. Ruined. Oh, I want to hack this. It's where you're accumulating initians. It's like, oh, this game is like based on the candy box, I think. So, oh, where is the game? State score. State. Aha. Initians. Oh, where did I store initians? Score. Um. Anyhow, so you're just accumulating um initians, and then you can. As the game progresses, you can see like this abstract jellyfish appears, and then you can purchase things. And then with the excellent, oh, that's not the weapon, is it? Oh, it's the Anglone. Okay, I'm gonna have to hack this somehow. Um, so yeah, you can like fight things. It's basically the candy box, but with some odd vocabulary. What did they call it? Game.js. Oh, stats. Okay, stats. The initials some big number. Would that work? Yeah. Okay, so once you get a weapon, you can go on quests. Yeah, it has a cool interface and things. Oh, that scroll bar is annoying. Yeah, and then you can fight. Uh, and then there's Ova Topia. It's another incremental games. I wanted to make incremental games because they're addicting and that means they're well designed. And so far, all I all have are the sheep, which are these little white dots. I made a video about showing this already. Oh, and I have like some simple AI for them. But that's it. Like, it's like originally, I was going to have them like do work for you, kind of like ovine slaves. I didn't get that far. I didn't like the art style either. And then, hmm. Let's see, I probably put the other failures on here, but like earlier on. Oh, they aren't fair. Okay. I'm not sure if this would be considered a failure. It's like Splatoon, but less interesting. <laughs> because you, um, so I'm controlling both people at the same time. They both have separate controls. So if you have friends, I guess you could play this. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.